The ability to quickly pull in and review multiple clip versions on a timeline in Nuke Studio and Hero has always been a powerful feature and workflow for managing VFX edits or performing dailies or client reviews. Currently, all the clips on the timeline act independently from one another. But with Nuke 12.1's new version linking feature, you can now control which version of your clip will be used across multiple locations on your timeline, or even push these changes across multiple edits from either the project bin or from the individual clip instance on your timeline. From the bin, you can either link all or unlink all shot versions. When choosing link all, every instance of your selected shot appearing on the timeline will mirror that of the bin. And when choosing unlink all, you will be able to set each clip instance version on your timeline independently. From the timeline, you can link clips directly from a track item and can either link to use the current bin items version or choose use track item version to force the bin item to match that of the track item. When multiple instances of a clip exist on the same timeline or edit, but have different link states, a mixed icon will appear in the bin item to help indicate that these shot instances are set to different versions. Linked and unlink icons appear on the track items as well as in the spreadsheet to let you know at a glance their current link state. We have also added a new preference to set the default linking state of new footage imported into your project. This is great because when reviewing work, you can keep the versions unlinked whilst comparing and giving feedback, and when the final version is approved, you can then enable version linking to ensure that the approved version is used in any other places or instances where that clip appears, to ensure continuity on multiple edits and to have confidence that you're always viewing the right shot.